we're actually all over the map here proving various things with different sites all over the place so and there are a lot of images that I've never shown you before I suppose there's about three towards the end uh, just to help prove the narrative that I'm trying to show you trying to prove to you so I have made videos on domed roofs before these are some of the images that I used in those videos we're going to start with this which is what they call the Circus Maximus this is like an artist rendition of you know the ancient world almost half backward building impossible sites uh, with the technology that we've been presented anyway when you look at this thing it does first look like what they have presented uh, you know like this was some type of seating that went all the way around and it would rise towards the back well it's built in brick you will see that afterwards and then it looks like that there's solidified calcified concrete on top that's eroded away and gone hard in the flood okay you can see that but what people tend to forget with all this stuff is that look archaeologists have dug all all that section out what you're looking at there none of that was revealed they're about to reveal it and then they've rebuilt the brick underneath to me this was some raised structure there's still a hell of a lot more of it buried for one thing if it was seating uh, you know what would be the point in building it all in brick and then putting some concrete down because the large square holes there would be for wooden beams correct then you would build you know something like a huge stage put your beams through that concrete and then layer your seating all the way around meaning that if I had to guess the concrete that's in the same shape as the square holes that the wooden beams were going for the seating to be built into it will have been built above in the same shape it will have carried all all the way through to the top and it's collapsed down on top of it and they've been able to excavate it and shape it in, to the shape that you're looking at and what proves that is on the left there you can see how it's all collapsed down and fallen sideways the center is where the center of the dome is which they will never excavate because uh, you know what we've been presented as Romans couldn't have achieved something like that all the metal that went into holding something like that okay you can't just build in concrete will have eroded away oxidized away that's my best guess this thing here I've not put down where it is but if you, if you look at it you can see the imprints of a domed structure everything's buried and the rest of the rooms and flooring around it that's what I think it is anyway make up your own mind this thing here is definitely a dome an imprint saturated wood this will be the same I've made a video on this about two years ago I forgot the name I'm not going back and looking at it now it's the uh, it begins with Lil something it was obviously built with wood and materials like that degradable materials it's just an imprint and everything's just been covered in ash and sand from the flood uh, when you look down on it it's a cross isn't it well when you look at the side when you're inside the hole where they dug out more than likely in the past as well there was maybe something precious in there something valuable well you can see where the wooden beams that went into building the structure that have now just turned to sand like I've just been showing you uh, and just because you're looking at bricks on the outer rim and whether or not that's been done in the past or by archaeologists I don't know but you can see these square wooden beams that I've pointed out in finer detail to you are sticking out of the wall now turned sand they are resting on cross beams you can see it in the center uh, and where it's fallen away being chiseled away to hide it uh, and that at the bottom they've knocked a section away to make it look like a step so there's obviously a lot more buried this is also a dome the rest of it's buried around it but anyway archaeologists this site here they call this a tomb I'm guessing uh, 
well there's no bodies in there now is there this is an earlier photo well this next image you can see these skeletons that have been placed in there they are lying in situ perfectly like they've already been examined this was no tomb or you could say that it ended up being a tomb as these multiple level floors collapsed down on top of each other and they managed to pull out a few skeletons and then place them in there for you to look at right have a look at these few and then i'll come back in later I decided to show you this image that I had buried in one of my albums and if you look where the arrows are pointing you can make your own mind up on whether I'm right on when I've shown you that these blocks most of them are well you can see it's a covering you can see how thin it is this is one of the few images that I've shown you before and you can clearly see the pitched roof where the pitched roof was I would say that this was made from concrete due to how thick the floor is right and you can see how it's all just been hit with ash and it's all just turned into a lump of solidified mess that's what it is and gone underwater and calcified and one of the main points that I would like to raise with this stuff here is that if you was to take a hammer and bash away at this after about two hits it would all just crumble away in sand into your hand it looks like hard rock but it isn't it's just mud rock ash it's all just sand okay this thing here in Machu Picchu it's thousands of feet above sea level uh, hundreds of miles inland and yet it's been completely submerged in the events that I speak of Whether or not this was a boat, I don't know, but it certainly was built from wooden beams. Just like this site in China here, anybody that's built anything will recognise how this has been put together. And yet it's just an imprint in mud, it's just, you know, how they were able to excavate this stuff is amazing, really. You know, the surrounding stuff must have just been like powder. Uh, but this thing here... To me, this looks like some giant tree, 
you know, that's rotted away, it's been floating around in the flood, the center of it, and it's just the back, right? So the mainstream are always pushing the ice age. Look, I don't believe in the ice age, I believe in the flood, right? So that's where all these large rocks came from because they were mainly pieces of wood, petrified wood that had been floating around.